hell, that's windy. Well, after six months since I ordered the bike, it arrived yesterday. Box, so I had to put the bars on and the uh, the seat, pedals and stuff like that. Uh, I've added my bag onto it. Got my puncture repair kit and a spare tube and my pump in there. Yeah, so it's a very simple system. Put my eye walk there. The battery is built into here. That's my uh, charging point. There. Give it a charge last night. It was only 60% full. But uh, yeah, it's basically for your settings. You press it. I'm on the middle one at the moment. You press it again. And that red, that means you're on the, uh, the most powerful of the motor. Press it again. And then there, green, that is like your eco your lowest level of assist because it's just an assist bike and I'll put it back to the to the middle again but uh, yeah it seems to be pulling okay just to say it's just its first run out so it'll give it a good test any iron out any niggles any things that need tightened or adjusted but uh, so far so good I've got a slightly wider flare on the bars And there's the, uh, the e-bike motion Marley motor. But yeah, you know, looking at it from here, just looks like a standard bike, which is what I wanted. You know, I don't want to be uh, shouting out that it's an e-bike. But uh, for my dicky knee, it'll uh, hopefully help. So I will uh, crack on a bit further. At the moment, it's dry quite windy in fact it's quite quite a strong breeze so that's why I've got on the middle assist so let's bash on all right Sun has made an appearance now warmed up a bit it's still blowing a hooli especially through these trees ho oh, oh. ho wasn't expecting this was it forecast these high winds is it ever So as well as having this, obviously your iWatt controller, everything's clutter free up here. You have the option on the uh, phone, there's an app, and you can check on the battery levels, sort of uh, how many miles left in the tank sort of thing. Change different settings, you know, what setting you're on for the motor and stuff like that. And you can just check things, different settings. So yeah, it has a use, but as I say, I won't be using the, uh, it's there if you want to check it and stuff like that. but. My option was just to get it nice and clean the way it is um, and just with the uh, with the iWalk controller which is very simple to use. So yeah, I'm using it on the, the amber one as I said, the amber setting. And you do feel it when you're pedalling with that rear wheel motor uh, as opposed to the front one on the other bike. So yeah, just bedding the brakes in as well. They're still a bit uh, soft and a bit... Well, they're not very sharp, should we say, at the moment, but they'll bed in. I've only done, what, seven mile or something? Eight mile, seven mile. So yeah, I went for the Tiagra option because I've got it on the other the Cannondale with the gears on here and the brakes. So I, I, I'm quite happy with that system, how it works. And there's a little, um, you see there, connector when you want to take the rear wheel off, which I've had it off yesterday because the bike come with mud guards, but I didn't want the mud guards on. Well, I got them for the winter really, so anyhow, let's push on. It's well over ground since I was last down. In a few months, everything's just gone mental. Yeah, so another note on the iWalk, um, the constant white light, that denotes it's between full and 75%.
and then when it goes to green it's 75 to 50 and then when it goes to amber it is 50 to 25 and then when it goes to red you've got less than 25 percent and when it starts flashing red i think it's, it's either less than 10 or less than 15 percent so you need to get back to get charged up but yeah everything simple on this eye walk so it's particularly windy out there today <laughs> at least sun's trying to get out but yeah this bridge has definitely been uh, sorted out since i was last well i think one of my last rides was maybe across here when it was just done but uh, it's looking good it's looking good this is the old railway line old line to edinburgh Yep, yeah, so what these Sh Schwalbe G1s giving them a go. Um, you had a choice of what you wanted on the bike and you sort of make a build up yourself. So I've got the mud guards and I've got a rack as well, which uh, may be used, but maybe not. But it was only about 15 quid, so I just got it. Um, yeah, I've stuck my old pedals off my Cadex on. You know, both sided, you can either go with the clip or just a normal pedal. So, yeah, happy so far. You know, the wait was <laughs> quite long, it was a bit off putting getting told it was here, it wasn't, you know, it was ready, it was going to be ready, it wasn't. But, uh, yeah, I just got an email this week to say it was with the courier and it would be delivered on Thursday. And I was like, yeah, right, well, yeah, sure enough, it turned up yesterday. So, quite happy because I was expecting it's going to be missing the. Uh, the good weather so this I think I maybe need to just adjust this slightly slightly up a bit tilt it up so apart from that everything seems to be okay very clean on the bars it's got a bit of a tilt back which is what I asked for some Mavic wheels on it can't remember which ones. So yeah, all is good so far. That's the first run done on it. Just checking the uh, app on the phone. I'm down to 76% percent of the battery. It's given us a range of 48 miles left. I was running it on, on the way back there because I had a headwind of a, must have been about 15 mile an hour on the amber setting. So, you know, and I've done 16 miles. So it's not massive miles, but yeah. 16, 16, 30, yeah, so they're saying around about the way I was riding it, 60 miles. It all depends, you know, on the terrain, how hilly, how windy, like today, you know, but uh, yeah, so far, so good. Uh, so keep watching, and we'll uh, have some more videos posted soon on this uh, new Ribble CGR ALE. Thanks for watching.